I still, my finger will hurt, okay? And I will be like, what the f happened? Like, how did I let this happen? What's up, friends? What's up, friends? It's your girl, P, AKA Peyton, but you better call me P because you can call me Peyton. You and I, anyway, if you call me Peyton, you and I are gonna have a problem. That's not for you. Um, uh, there's a lot of new faces on here. Y'all have been blowing it up. Y'all have been doing numbers. Numbers, you hear me? And I cannot explain how thankful I am. I love each and every one of you. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your sisters, tell your cousins, tell your brothers, tell your uncles and aunties. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, you hear me? There's a lot of new faces here. There's a lot of new people. There's a lot of eyes. So I thought I would just get on here and tell you guys a little bit about me, what we got going on. And then I got a story time for y'all on how I got my finger broken on my 29th birthday. Love that. Um, so first and foremost, my name is Peyton. Um, I do go by P. Peyton is really a name for close friends and family. Even that, I'm not a big fan of the name simply because people always love to say, oh, like Peyton Manning. <laughs> Be so serious. Do I look like a 6'4 linebacker or whatever position he plays? Does he even play anymore? I don't know, but that's not me. That's not me. And I spell my name with an A, not an E. And for those people out there who love to say, isn't Peyton a boy's name? No, it's not. Because I'm a woman and my name is Peyton. Doesn't it answer your question? <laughs> anyway. Just call me P, okay? In whatever form, you can call me play a P, push a P, whatever kind of P you wanna call me, don't call me Peyton. Thank you very much. Um, I am 29 years old. I know, I know, I know, I don't look like I'm 29. I'm 29 years old. I will be 30 in November. So get your pockets ready now. No, I'm just kidding. I'll be 30 in November, 30 years old in November, which makes me big Scorpio vibes, big Scorpio mama. Um, Scorpios truly rule the, rule the world. I don't care what you think about that. It's the truth. Um, Scorpios really do it up every single time. If you're a Scorpio, you're my type of person. Love you. I am from the Pacific Northwest. I'm not going to specify where in the Pacific Northwest. If you know, you know. Um, I'm from a city that has changed a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in the last few years. Um, like I said, if you know, you know. I am a mom, I'm a mother of two. Um, and let me tell you a fun fact about that. I'm one of those moms who will literally mm, 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 when it comes to mine. So you will likely never see or hear from or know anything about my kids because I do not want to have to if you catch my drift. You hear me? There's like a uh, there's like a YouTube video out. I think it's on cut. I'm not sure, but they asked parents if they would kill for their kids and I have no relation to the parents that say no. I started making content for the most part in 2020 um, when the world really shut down. Honestly, before that I was into content creation and the idea of it, but I wasn't really sure how to like make it shake. I didn't really understand my lane. And even now I don't, but at this point in 2023, it's more of a creative expression for me. Um, I, I just post what feels good and I post what I want to post and that's it. Um, so I started making TikToks as did most of the world in 2020 and really learned a lot of things on there. Um, yes, I do have a TikTok account. It's still up. I'll tag it below if you want. Although there are some pretty embarrassing things on there. Anyway, I stopped posting on TikTok probably in like 2021 and moved over to Instagram. 
um, when Reels was really a big thing, um, I started a show on TikTok called P Talk Shit. It's still up on my Instagram account in my Reels if you are interested in watching. There's about five or six episodes on there. And I'll just tell you the disclaimer now because yeah, everything you hear on my Instagram channel is my opinion. And if you have a problem with anything I have to say, call your mom and let her know. Cause I truly, truly do not care what you think. Um, so I was on Instagram, it really blew up for me. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I kind of got tired of doing 60 second rants on my story and posting reels that just took a lot of energy. <laughs> I figured I might as well move on to a bigger, bigger platform like YouTube. So we're here. And again, this is really just like a creative expression for me. Um, I have a lot of thoughts every single day and it's really helpful for me to be able to put them somewhere. Um, Cause I know there's other people who also have a lot of thoughts and have a lot of similar thoughts and things like that. So welcome to my channel where we're silly and we talk about things that really are just abstract and still clutter our minds. I'm not, I'm not a makeup girly. I'm not a hair girly. Um, I do like my hair done, but I do not do my own hair. I don't do makeup. Um, I simply cannot be bothered to keep up with all the makeup trends that come every month. It's, listen. You gonna get this natural beat, babe. That's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. I would describe myself as very goofy, very silly. Um, I love to laugh and I will make myself laugh before anybody else does, to be completely honest. Um, some of the thoughts I have on a day-to-day -day basis truly just are so, <laughs> so outrageous and so silly that I will crack up and that really, keeps me in a very optimistic mood. Um, I'm very optimistic, very positive person. And I choose that for myself. I choose happiness. I choose peace. I choose optim optimism simply because you can live in your negative energy and be miserable or you cannot. And you can be what they call delusional. And that's what I am. Call your mom and let her know. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a damn. If you're not delusional, you're not living right. This world is too crazy for you not to be delusional, okay? Please, get it together. Is that my third adjective? Silly, optimistic, and delusional? Um, I'm also a very private person. Like I said, I'm a Scorpio, so you are gonna get what I give you. Other than that, you will not know a damn thing about what I got going on. Okay. I will say that I do like to be alone a lot of the time. Um, when I get around too many people or uh, people for too long of period of time and I don't have enough time with myself to like sit in my thoughts and process what I'm thinking, I can get very irritable. I know y'all know what that's about. At least some of y'all. I'm not, I'm not a golden retriever. I'm a cat. Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> Outside of creating content and being mom, um, I have responsibilities. I have bills to pay, okay? Um, but I do like to do things like, I like to be outside in nature. Um, honestly, if you don't go outside enough, please go outside. Take a deep, deep breath of fresh air, cause you need it, okay? Um, I'm also, ooh, period. I'm also a gym girly. Look, there was a point in my life where I literally was like, people that go to the gym and work out are insane. Why do you do that? It's not fun, it hurts. Started working out, started seeing changes, said hold on. And then I was one of those people who was like, I'll never get up early to go to the gym. Girl, I'll be up at 4.30 every single day <laughs> in the gym, you hear me? And I love it and I'll never stop. I love it. I'm gonna work out when I'm 70 years old because I freaking love it. It's so much fun. Um, if you don't work out, I highly suggest you get your ass up early in the morning before you go to work. Go to the gym or at least go outside, do something, physical activity. 100% changed my life. Um, I enjoy cooking. 
because I be throwing damn. I be throwing damn in the kitchen, okay? That also comes with fitness though. When you work out, you have to make sure you're eating right. You have to make sure you're eating enough and all the things. So I be in that kitchen doing what needs to be done, okay? And yeah, I another activity that I like to do is getting to the bag. If there's a duffel, I'm in it, babe. I don't, period. I don't know what else to say. No, I don't have an OnlyFans. When I was getting into content creation, I was doing a lot of UGC work, user-generated content work. Um, I would have brands reach out to me to create content for them that they would use on their platforms. Um, I've done work for small clothing companies, for health and wellness companies. Um, I've done work for an upcoming hairdresser slash photographer. Um, creative shoots, all types of things. Um, you may or may not see my face in an ad somewhere on TikTok. I don't know. I don't know, I can't talk about it. It's an NDA, I can't talk about it. I'm just kidding, ain't no damn NDA. I'm really inspired by people who keep it, who keep it funky. I'm really inspired by people who keep it a bean. I'm not a real big fan of people who make content and try to live a life that they don't really live. Um, I I come from very humble beginnings, okay? I, I work a nine to five. I am a mom a lot of the time. Uh, say about 75% of the time I'm momming. Um, I'm taking care of my household. I'm doing things that need to be done. Um, content creation is really a hobby at this point for me. I do like doing it, but let's be real, babe. Let's keep it a beat, babe. And I would just say for anybody who's out there who's wanting to make or create any type of content, just do what feels right. Do what feels right and don't be afraid of what other people are gonna say or think. Um, just do your thing and things will start falling into place. Things will start making sense. Things will start clicking. The one plus ones will start equaling two. Um, and yeah, just let it be organic. Just be organic. Don't be one of them weird fake people on the internet. That's not cool, that's not cute. That's a little bit about what I got going on. That's a little bit about P. Um, drop some additional questions and comments in the comments below. If there's anything I didn't touch on that you wanna know, please ask away and I will be more than happy to answer for you. Let's get into the story time though, cause this is wild y'all. This is literally wild. So, my peaky figure, as you can see, it's a little bit deformed, babe. Like, just for reference, it's a little janky. Don't look, don't look too hard, don't look too hard. It does hurt, okay? It still hurts. This happened in November. No on my birthday, last year, when I turned 29, in November, okay? It's June, and my figure still hurts. It probably always will, anyway. So, let's get into the story time. Uh, it was my birthday. I had a whole weekend full of plans for my birthday, okay? I was turning 29, I was trying to live life, I was trying to live it up and have fun and do what 29 year olds do, get drunk. So uh, my birthday was on a Friday, I think. Yeah, my birthday was on a Friday. I had plans on Saturday and Sunday um, and we was just gonna have a fun time. Friday night rolls around. I didn't really know what I wanted to do that night. I'd spent the day like doing self care, getting pampered, went out to eat, um, got my toes and nails done, got my hair done, you know, all the things that one would do on their birthday to make themselves feel special. That's what I did. Um, Friday night rolled around and I said, you know what? It's my birthday, I'm trying to show out, I'm trying to have fun, I'm trying to have a little drinky drink because I'm 29, this is my last year in my 20s and I'm trying to head into it right, okay? So at the time I had a friend who was always down for a good time. And I said, hello friend, let's go have a good time. We decided we were just gonna keep it low key. We didn't wanna do too much because granted, the next day I had a, a, a reservation for a table at a club. So I knew the next day I was really gonna be out popping it, really doing my shit. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep it low key, didn't wanna do too much, but still wanted to celebrate. 
Uh, so we ended up going to a bar in the neighborhood. Um, actually, that's so funny. We went to a, a bar in the neighborhood and had a few drinks. I ate some food because you know sis has to eat. Um, and I actually got my palm red that night. <laughs> um, this random man came up to us and was like, I read palms. Do you want your palm red? I said, yes. He read my palm to filth. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was true or not. He told me I wasn't gonna find love until I was in my 40s, so. <laughs> Let's hope he wasn't all the way right. He did know a little bit about like my past and what I had going on with that, but I hope he was wrong. I hope it was like mid 30s. Let's scale it back a little bit, sir. I can't wait that damn long, all right? And at that time I was like, you know what? I'm not ready to go home. It was probably like nine o'clock at night. I'm not ready to go home. It's Friday night, it's my birthday. Let's get into it, sis. Let's do the damn thing. So there was a uh, little concert going on in uh, downtown of my city that I knew was gonna be pretty poppin'. There was a lot of people there. So we decided to go. Um, we got there pretty late. So we didn't have to pay to get in or anything like that. But we ended up seeing a lot of people that we knew, um, got some free drinks, did my little dancey dance, things like that. Oh, God. And yeah, we had a great time in the show. After the show was over, mind you, we got there pretty late. So by the time we got there, there was only probably like 45 minutes to an hour left of what was going on. So by the time we got in and got our drinks and drank our drinks and did our little network thing, it was over. It was time to go, babes. So we went back to the car. Um, my cousin works at a bar that was just down the street from that concert. So we went in there, had some more drinks, <laughs> had some more drinks, Lord have mercy. Um, and the friend I was with had a friend, a male friend who uh, she liked to deal with here and there. Let's just say that. Um, and I had been out with him before a couple times um, in a group setting. He kind of always knew like what was popping, what was going on. Anytime I was with him in a group setting, like we ended up having a great time. So um, he was also at the concert and he knew it was my birthday and he was like, let's go, um, let's go to this bar. Um, I'll buy you a couple drinks, like da 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 da, right? At this point, this specific time, it was just me this girl I was with and him. So we go, he sends us an address and we go, it ends up being a hotel room. Weird, whatever. We're thinking there's like a bar in the hotel. Whatever. Um, so we go in and he gives us a room key. We go up to the room. And he gave us a bottle, he handed us a bottle. He handed us a bottle of tequila. So we went up to the room. I had to pee real bad. So as soon as we got to the hotel and got the room key, I was like, let me just go up to this room and go pee. And then we're out. Like, this is not where I wanna be. This is not my type of deal. I don't know what this funny man has going on or what he thinks is about to happen, but it's a dub. It's not going. So we went up to the room. He left, he went to go do something. I don't know, I don't know. Me and her went up to the room to go pee. And then we got up there. Mind you, at this point, I'm pretty drunk. It's probably like 11.30 and I'm pretty faded. Um, Cause I've been drinking since like eight, eight-ish. So we go up to the room, um, I go pee. We start taking pictures in the mirror. He's still not there, he's still not there. He's still gone from somewhere. But I knew we needed to get out of there before he came back. Cause I was like, no sis, I'm not about to be cornered in this room. I'm not about to be stuck in this position. Like this is not it, I'm good. I have to pee, then we're gonna dip out of here. So we went pee, um, he didn't come back for like 20 minutes. So we were taking pictures and videos and stuff in the room. And then as soon as we were about to head out, he comes in the room. Whatever. It was all good. Um, we were chopping it up, having a good time, drinking, taking shots, da da da. This is where it went left, y'all. This is literally where it went bad. And I'll never forget it. For context, the girl who I was with loves to talk some She likes to talk shit, especially when she's been drinking. She will talk 
okay? I'm also like that, but I know, I know when the right time to talk and tell jokes and when the right time to shut your trap, okay? So she starts talking shit, calling him a bitch ass, short, like just, just running her off. And you know, at first he was like, ha ha, kiki, laughing about it, but he really started getting offended. So let me set the scene for y'all, right? I'm right here, he's right here, and she's right here, okay? And they're arguing back and forth to each other. All right, running their house. He's getting mad, visibly mad. She's not even seeing it. She's not, she's too drunk to understand that he's getting upset, right? So I don't even remember what was said. Like I'm sitting here like this. Just like, this is why we needed to get out of here before he came back to this room, all right? She says something, I don't recall what she said, and he pointed at me and said, I got this hotel room for you. And then he called me a bitch. Huh? What'd you say? Not me? I didn't say a face, so why are you calling me out of my name? I said, bitch? Who the f calling a bitch? Before I could even finish that sentence, this man snatched me up by my shirt, literally by my shirt and tossed me across the room, okay? Look, domestic violence is nothing to be played with, okay? Nothing to be played with, okay? So, when I realize that I'm being attacked, I start fighting back because you're not about to toss me around like a rag doll, sir. I fight back, okay? The girl, the girl who I was with also jumps in because why did you just grab my friend? We're about to, we're about to jump you. We're about to jump you. So she jumps in, distracts him for a minute. I kid you not y'all, when I get up and I look at my hand, my finger looks like a capital L. It's hanging, babe. I had so much adrenaline at this time that I didn't, I couldn't feel it and I didn't, I couldn't like comprehend what was happening. So at this point, this man is literally raging. Like he's lost his f***ing mind. My finger's hanging like a capital L and I know that I gotta get the f*** out of this situation immediately. So I grab, I think I have like my keys, my wallet maybe, and I dash out the f***ing door. I'm out the door. Mind you, I am drunk. I'm drunk. My fingers hanging like a capital L. I don't know what the fuck is on. I run down the stairs th of this hotel and I'm just thinking in my head, bitch, you're about to get kidnapped. We are about to, it's over, it's over, it's over. I run down the stairs until I get to the lobby and I literally am like, ah, to the lady at the front desk. She's like, ah, I'm like, ah, ah. We're both like in complete shock. Um, all in all, ambulance called. I go to the hospital. I'm gonna spare some details because you know who I'm talking to, you know what you did. Anyway, I go to the hospital. Um, by this time, I'm completely sober. I'm, my fingers have been hurting. I'm sober. I have been snapped out of the drunkness like nothing I've ever done before. Uh, they took really good care of me and essentially, they put a little numbing in my finger and essentially cracked my shit back into place. Cracked my finger back into place, okay? They said it wasn't broken, it was just a pip joint, but I truly believe it was broken because my finger hurts and it's been like seven or eight months at this point. So I think it was broken. Anyway, we cracked my back into place, put a little wrappy wrap on it, and that was that. The aftermath of that whole situation taught me, one, no more female friends. Okay, I shouldn't say no more female friends. No more friends who don't know when to close their mouths. Pay close attention to who your friends are and who's in your circle. Number two, pay very close attention to who you are drinking literal poison around. <laughs> make better choices, make smarter choices. And number three, be ass. Don't let anyone treat you like a rag doll, babe. Um, so yeah, that was my story time on how I got my finger broken on my 29th birthday. Shout out to you too, you know who you are. But that's it you guys. Um, my battery is about to die, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your questions and comments down below. 
Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like I said, tell your moms, tell your aunties, tell your cousins, tell your brothers, tell your sisters, tell your uncles, tell everybody to come. Check in with P. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye.